Okay, we can continue now. So we have said we can start with number one. When you want to file a near return, a near return. So when you want to file a near return, you come here. You are seeing where where my casa is. Is everyone seeing? Hello? Hello? I'm seeing myself. Are, are we seeing where my casa is? Yes. Returns. So you drill down, when it, that is when you are filing new returns, you drill down, you come to file nil returns. That is where, that is the point where you are supposed to file nil returns. So you click on, on that. So it will give you a page where it will tell you nil, nil e return. So for those who, do, who don't have or didn't have income during the year, this is where, this is where they're supposed to make their Near return. But for those who, be, who, who, who had income, to ta, to iyo ingine. so I wanted you to see. So if you had income and you are, you are, you are trying to file near return, itakokataza. So we can, let's see with this one. So once you are in that one, you, you, you pick tax obligation. So when you are tax obligation, you have number one, income tax for residence income. Number two, income tax for non-residence income. Number three, we have income tax for rental income. So in this case, it is income tax for residence income. So you just choose income tax for residence income. The next step you are supposed to do is to, is to click next. So once you click next, itakuwa, itakuuliza, Itakwambia, you are, you, are, you are trying to, to, to file return period from 1st January, 1st of January 2021 to 31st of uh, December 2021. So all the file returns, we are, all the filing we are doing, we are doing, we are doing them for the previous year, which is 2022, for, for, which is for 2021. For 2022, we are going to make the filing next year, 2023. So once you are there, you click submit. So it will, it will ask you, dear customer, filing of returns is only applicable in case where you have no transaction to declare for the period. So it will ask you, are you sure you want to file near return? If you say, okay, if you don't have income, if you say, okay, it will go through. For example, this one had income. So I want us, we see, when I say, okay, what will tell us? You say, okay? So, I hope kila mtu anaona screen yake. It will tell you, you cannot file it near return as you have employment income for the return period. Please file return using file return option. So once you have an income, you can't file the nil return. And if you don't have nil uh, income, you are, you, are, you are supposed to file nil return. So as I'm going to look for a, a, a person or an individual that didn't have uh, income for last year so that we can use that one for the purpose of, uh, for, for the purpose of teaching. So I think tomorrow, maybe if I want to meet tomorrow, I'm, I'm able to get that the one, uh, one for that one. So for this one, I think you have seen the steps. And at the end of this period, and at the end of this presentation, I'm going to share the notes for you to follow. Then uh, are we together with the, up to that point with the near return? Uh, Charles? Yes? Let me, let's say if you don't have any income, uh, what, yes. uh, how, how is the system supposed to respond? Let's say you uh, we've we filed we've clicked file nil return icon and then we've submitted. Let's say in normal circumstances, maybe for a student who doesn't have any income, what does how 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 do you know that 
you have uh, that the whoever is filing have yeah. done, they have submitted okay. the, the system the uh. system will automatically do what the system will automatically give you uh, will tell you your filing of your annual returns have successfully submitted uh. then you are able to, to to do what to to download you are able to download a uh, a tax uh, a tax uh, what you call acknowledgement receipt uh, for that one so i want to see i want to show you an example i want to show you an example mm -hmm. Ever once you are you, you don't have income, it will normally so go. Once you are you don't have income, it will normally go. Sorry. Sorry. Hey. So are you seeing my screen? Yeah. So that is what is supposed to, to give you. It will give you an e-return acknowledgement receipt saying mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can see tax obligation, income tax residence, original. Then it can tell you uh, whether it will, when it is nil, it gives you nil ukochini. So everywhere it is nil. It gives you Google Chin. It's near. Sijikama to Kopamoja. Hmm. Hmm. Eva? Yes. Kopamoja. Yes. Yes. Are you getting me? Hello? Hello? I, I, can, I can hear you, sir. Okay. Have you understood it there? Up to there? Yes. So with the functionality of the newly return, yes. uh, I think I will find a pin nine and a pin number that has a, doesn't have a, a new return a income so that you can do the new return and you see the functionality of that. Okay, we can continue. Yes. So for example, for this, for this Esther, yes. she had uh, an income for last year. So when you want to file the income of this Esther, you just come to returns, then file returns. You click on it. That is the screen it will give you. Hello. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Yes. Ah, yeah. Then next, you you choose tax obligation. And where next. 
whereby it is income tax residence. You click on it. You go next. You go next. That is the screen it will give you. Next. That is the screen. Tuko pamoja mbaka hapo. Hello? Hello? And yes, yes Charles. Yes. Okay. Siji, are, are you getting an echo ama ni mimi tu nasikia? Okay. Mi ni kwa sawa. I think uh. maybe kuna ukona Maybe you are on two devices. Oh, anyway, have we? I'm in two devices. One is I'm using for sharing, and another one is okay. I think it has maybe the year in the Neza Kwa reason. Maybe I can I can log out one for the purpose you... of uh, yeah, the purpose of uh, the meeting. So, muna nipata sasa? Yeah, iko saa. Hello? Yeah, you are clear. Okay, thank you. I, I think I, I was using the, 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 the blue devices. So, once you are in that window, I think everyone we are together mbaka hapo. Gulo? Gulo liya? Iko saa, iko saa. Karo? Yes, yes, yes. So once you are here, you there are two ways of doing this. So you can download, you can download a, this uh, Excel form, that one. You can download that one, or you can download ODS form. But most of our devices, they support Excel. So most of most of the time. We are required to, to, to download this Excel form. We fill. After filling, then we are able to upload the, 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 the field Excel to this one so that it can, it can be submitted. So you just come directly here. Click here to download income tax. That is Excel format. You click on that. So it will give you, uh, it will download. So once it downloads, you open it. Are you seeing it? Tunayona. Hello? Manda blank, but to know what Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, that is how. So if I, if I click here, you can see that form. It is iTax individual. That is the size in 33,644,928. You can see that one. Then you double click on it for you to open it. Munaona ikifungua? Iko blank. Mimi sioni kitu. I want Excel Office 2019. Wacha ifungue then we see whether we can see it. Just a minute. Are you seeing anything in your screen? Everybody? Uh, I'm seeing a blank screen. Oh, you, it is not being seen. Sorry, oh. let me see whether I can. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, 
Let me stop sharing. Napo. Hello. Mnao napo. Iko blank bado. Ni kama ume ume zoom. Oga okay, ionekani. Ionekani. Napo, are you seeing anything? Yes. Napo? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So you have seen you have seen a, you have seen a, an Excel sheet form written KRA, Kenya Revenue Authority, Section A, Part One, Return Information. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, in your phones. Kindly, I want you to open the P9 for, for, for Esther. Are you there? I want to follow, we follow, we follow one on one. If all of us were there, we can say. Hello, are you able to open? Um, I've already opened. So, okay, Caro. Yes, it's open. And uh, Eva. Uh, yes, it's open. Okay. Now, once you are in that screen, you are seeing here somewhere enable editing. Hmm. You have to click there so that you can enable. The yes. The, the 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 Excel sheet to be on the Wednesday and Ika, so you will have to enable. Hey, sorry, it has gone. A minute. So you are listening, Umeona. Yes. Okay. Then once you have enabled. You can see here, personal identification number. That is where you put the, the <clears throat> how do you call it? The pin for that individual. So for example, for Esther, Karo. Yes. To submit the, the pin number for Esther. Karo, are you seeing it? Karo? Karo? Hi, Eva? Yeah. Are you seeing the pin number for for Esther? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Kindly, you can read for us. Uh, A, capital A, double zero, 72, 12, 15, uh, 8M. Mumeona nyote mali ni meyandika? Yes. Yes. Caro? Caro? Caro, are you in the meeting? I'm a talker. So, to endele. So, <clears throat> number, you can see the next one it says type of return. We normally have two types of return. We have the number one, we have the original. Number two, we have the amended. The original, it is when you are filing for the first time in a particular year. 
So if you are making the filing for the first time in a particular year, you are doing a regional return. But if, if you have done a return, an original return, and you have realized that you have made a mistake, you are supposed to, 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 to correct a certain mistake, you file an amended return. So that is the, the difference between uh, that is the difference between uh, the original and the amended. So if you are filing for the first time in a particular year, you have to file an original return. If after filing an original return, you realize that you have made a mistake, you have uh, you have not done the correct thing, you do what we call you file an amended one. This amended one will normally uh, you it, it is so it is also recommended that you do it for correction of the the mistakes. But you have to uh, to attach an evidence of doing so. Are we together, Mbakapo? Yes. Eva? Yes. Okay. So you just uh, pick the original one. The next, the period. For example, this period. We are, we are filing from uh, 1st January 2021 to, that, to that 1st of December 2021. So you just write 01 stroke 01 stroke 2021. The next one, return period to 31st stroke 12 stroke 2021. The next item is, do you? Well, Charles, yes. Charles, it's, I think it's 0101. You've written, oh, I think that's. Sorry. Yeah, should be 0101. Zero one, zero one. Yeah. 00101. Zero, zero zero one. Thank you for that correction. So the next item, they will ask you, do you have any income other than employment? So if you have an income, other than in employment, you would normally say yes. If you have, when it will, when when you say yes, you will have to to compute the the the, the, the income from other employment, from other sources of income. So, but we are going to do as we go on. We are going to do one that has that functionality. For this one, let's stick to. To, to, to know to, because Hana income in Guinea. Do you have any partnership income? So if you have a, a partnership income also, you say yes. It will give you the where you are supposed to fill the partnership income. Then do you have estate trust income? If you have if you have it, you say yes. If you don't have it, you say no. Have you have your employer provided you with a car? If you if you have yes. If you don't have, no. Do you have a mortgage? If you have, yes. If you don't have, no. Do you have a home ownership saving? So if you have all those things, if you say yes, the, system, the, the this Excel will give you an option of putting that one. But one thing I have to tell you, because I've been doing all this, I will get one for a partnership income, I will get one for in, for uh, for uh, other uh, other income. I will get one for mortgage, for one for home 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 ownership savings, for insurance, commercial vehicle. We are going to do all this so that you can see the functionality of it. Up to that point, are we together? Yes, crystal clear. Okay, thank you. The next one, you after finishing after finishing basic information, the next table gives you is employment income. You click on the employment income. The first thing you see is the pin of the employer. So I want us we go to the to the to the P nine that uh, I shared for Esther. So, a uh, glow. Are you seeing the pin of the Nairobi, the Nairobi hospital? Yes. Are you able to read for us, please? Yeah, it is P triple yeah. zero. Yes. P triple zero. 
Yes. Five nine two six seven one Z. Five nine two six seven six, Z. One. one. So, no, six seven one Z. There's one before Z. One Z. Thank you. Then the employer, we the employer, the name of the employer, it is normally written in the P9. It is the, the Nairobi Hospital. So you just write there the Nairobi Hospital. Tuko pamoja? Tuko pamoja. Then the next item is gross pay, which is, which is A. Gross pay, it is the gross salary. That is the first column A as you can see from the P9. So is everyone seeing gross pay column A? That is month January to December. Okay, oh, gross pay. Gross pay is 689, yes. 500 I sorry, it's saying no, so it should be here. It is point point that one. To go for more jambaka, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Then allowances and benefits from employment, other than car and housing. If somebody has the, those allowance, unachaza. But and it does it is normally given in the in the P9. But you can get P9 yahuyu, akuna kitukama hiyo. And most of these people who have this, they are managers, the cabinet secretaries, what kama hawa. Those are the, the normally the people who are given this these uh, allowances. For, for for Esther, Hannah, if Esther doesn't have, we say zero. Okay. The next one is, iyo ikiwekwa kala, that one means you are not supposed to feel anything. So ikisha wekwa kala, unairuka tu, you go to next. The next is, next value, net value of housing, that is in Kenya shillings, that's D. So D, when this person is also given, it should be shown in the P9. So for example, for Esther, she is not, entitled for housing benefit. So hakuna. So kama hana, we normally put zero. Next is pension. Pension. Uh, pension in excess of 300,000. Uh, so if you look for Esther, the pension, uh, place your pension, that is if we can see, we have defined we have defined contribution retirement scheme. Defined contribution retirement scheme, that is E. We have E1, we have uh, E2, we have E3. To now, Napo Pamoja? Yes. Uh, so, Apo, Atu Kiangarizo Zote, Esta Ajapita 300. So, Kama Esta Ajapita 300. So she's not entitled anything there. So kama hakuna kitu, you put zero. You put zero. Sorry. Uh, uh, what's the meaning of E1, E2, E3? Yes. What's the meaning? What, what, what does it mean when you have, why are they uh, divided into three columns? The... The, the, what uh, come up with your reason? Uh, your, uh, your question again on undefined contribution retirement scheme columns, yes. Apart, oh. where, where are they divided into three? So, when we reach there, I'll I'm, uh, I'm able to explain. Oh, okay. Okay. time your pension. So, because there is a column, there's normally a column whereby we are supposed okay. to fill for pension. So, to pick up, I'm able to explain. Okay. Uh, to, to okay. Oh, okay. 
so, so here here basically you just check if if either if if any of the columns have are in excess of three hundred thousand. Exactly. So and that one you can tell from P nine. So if the P nine in the column for pension, you see the figure is more than three hundred. That's where you are supposed to put the figure. If in the P9 you are able to see a column for net value of housing, okay. utayeka So what basically guides you is the P9. Okay. Okay. So it is telling me one minute remaining. I want to get your opinion 